So my name's Paul, I run a business called The Rag and Bone Man with my wife where we make bespoke lighting, furniture, accessories and crazy special projects. So I've been commissioned by Monster Energy to make the trophy for the World Speedway Championships and the Speedway Nations trophies. And this year I wanted to do something a little bit different. I met a guy at a bike jumble recently and I managed to pick up various bits of Speedway bikes. Uh, so we've got a couple of pistons, a couple of conrods, a steel shoe, which I'm really inspired by, a couple of nice methanol burning carburetors and some crazy engine plates. They would look fantastic, kind of mounted, something like that. So I really like this. Um, I then thought about maybe mounting a, a carb in here or I don't know, maybe a piston. I'm also then thinking, well, I've got some aluminium conrods that will make some kind of handle to, to hold this thing up. But I need to find a base. I was thinking about um, like a piston, although these are a little bit too small. Um, I've got some larger pistons or, or maybe even a, a piece of fire extinguisher. Something like that acts as a base that I can then mount um, the plaque and, and tag race information onto. So I'll go and get some uh, giant pistons. So I'm, I've got my hands on these. I don't even know what they're from, probably some kind of generator. Um, I actually think that that's a nice size and it's because it's for a racing event, it's nice to use an actual piston as opposed to a fire extinguisher or yeah, something like that. I think that this is going to work out really well. It's not, um, it's not perfectly flat on top, uh, so I'm going to machine that flat. But you kind of get an idea as to the scale of the, the thing that I'm trying to make. So be that and then probably that carburetor in there. And like I was thinking, we're going to have to trim these down and put a steel shoe somewhere on there, which is a bit different. It's not like any other trophy I've seen before, which I, I can only imagine. Well, I'm thinking it's a good thing. So we'll put this on a milling machine and knock the top off of that and the bottom. So I kind of left school with not many qualifications. I went to art college for a bit. I, I did various jobs. I did some work on building sites, factory work. I was a licensed tattooist for a few years. Learned the basics of welding and a little bit of engineering at the same time. And I used to make picture frames for all kinds of people. But while I was making picture frames, I learned loads about finishing metals. Um, something that you don't kind of learn engineering and, and welding. Um, so I learned to play with lots of different chemicals and polishing things. I, I was there for years and uh, I never got paid enough. So I kind of, I started doing, maybe not making trophies, but making lighting on, on the side. Um, and then we did, I put a load of money into a design exhibition. And then we just sold out of everything on a like, four day event. In two days I'd sold the lot. And I went back to work and just like said see you later basically and uh, that was it, that was nine years ago. Although that's a bit of a speedway bike, that isn't the sexiest thing out there is it? Whereas if that was a nice curvy piece of stainless, it might look nicer than that. And, and also I'd be able to put it in the right place. So the shape of that's kind of restricting where that goes. I think the plates need to be closer together, which will bring that in I think tight enough to sit within, almost within the shape of that shoe. So that, yeah, that, I'm thinking somewhere like that. Now it could be mounted down there, but I think that, that looked nice there. Yeah. Just got to keep playing with it and uh, get there eventually. I tasked myself with the idea of, of getting my hands on a complete engine and trying to build three trophies out of it. At the time, it seemed like a good idea. It has kind of thrown up quite a few challenges. Fingers crossed they'll come out looking great and they'll be what I had in my head when I had a stupid idea to buy an engine. So I've got my components and I've kind of, in my head I had a rough idea of what we were going to do with it, whether or not that works. So my plan is to use this because it's the, I guess the biggest item this would make kind of first place. So we're going to use the crankcases and mount them on some kind of base so you end up with something along those lines and we'll water jet cut 
um, a couple of shapes to go on here and possibly build up some layers with a monster claw and that kind of thing. For second place, I think that the, the actual cylinder head itself has got quite a nice shape. And if I actually put the, keep the rocker box on there, maybe spread them out, maybe put some spaces between them. Um, and then possibly using the, the conrod, um, kind of chopping this down and mounting that on top of one side of the flywheel. And for the third place, it's a bit of a weird one. I'm not entirely sure I like third place, but it's third place. You're gonna to wanna to win that bad boy. Yeah, to mount this, I, I've not really thought about this, but to mount this somehow on top of one of the flywheels as well. So we end up with kind of three different uh, size trophies. So. so you get kind of yeah an idea of the different sizes. I think it's quite nice that um, first place is a lot bigger trophy, second place and third. Yeah, it's not too bad. I think as long as this has got a lightweight base, that'll be okay. I just really like the idea of um, disassembling a complete engine and trying to work with those components. By the look of it, I'm probably gonna have to add some more, but. My idea's there, it just needs figuring out and tuning in. It's nice to, uh, I guess once you, you know, you start to play with metal, metals, there's so many different ways that you can manipulate it. The, the range of things that I get involved with are, you know, massive and I get to, I get to do a bit of machining, I get to do any, yeah, I get to do all sorts, polishing, finishing, welding, grinding, we do casting, but. So this is the World Champion Speedway Trophy, um, finally completed it. It's, uh, yeah, it's a bit different to my normal trophies. It's got quite a, um, I don't know, sculptural form. Yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed this. Like I say, it's very different to anything else I've made. I kind of just like let go really, as opposed to sticking to uh, a more traditional trophy shape. I just got carried away and came up with this. I do actually get quite a good kick out of making a trophy because it's not like someone's, you know, bought a lamp or a piece of furniture off me. They've actually won this thing. It's nice to be commissioned to make something that's going to be awarded to somebody. As it's got a nice feeling that they're gifted this thing. It's kind of only fair that I, you know, do the best I can at making a, a fitting trophy for them. I started making trophies for Monster Energy about four years ago, it might be longer than that, and we made, our first commission was the World Rallycross trophies. Uh, we've done World Speedway last year, we've done Motocross of Nations, um, various other in-house trophies. I was lucky enough to do the MotoGP trophies this year. You know, that's kind of like the pinnacle of, of racing bikes, I guess, about as fast as they go. Yeah, it's quite a nice feeling. It's a, it's a nice, it's nice to see them when they actually get given these things and they're, they're holding them up. And I set myself the challenge of making the Speedway Nations trophies out of one engine, which at the time seemed like a great idea. Um, the first place, you know, I love crankcases. I think that they were like, I can see that on my mantelpiece as a, like, even if I used it as a vase. I'm really not happy with the base. It just, it doesn't talk to the other two trophies. So I'm actually going to change that and, and see if I can get hold of another flywheel um, and then use a bit of fire extinguisher and I'll have to find something else to, to bring the three together. I think on, on paper uh, it kind of it, it kind of worked out in my head. I'm really pleased with how the Speedway Champion trophy has come out. Um, I've, yeah, proper stoked on that. It, it was a weird vision that sort of does seem to have worked. Tune in in October and see what I've managed to come up with to get over my 
headache of a problem.